I'll, I'll do it through dialogue or some kind of like character quirk or something that will make readers be able to remember them. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to use the example of the baddie in the hollows, but if I describe how I introduced him or her, it will <laughs> give it away. <laughs> so um, it's, it's really through your protagonist, whoever's point of view the book is written from, it's from their reaction to that character, the way that they see them, whether they like them or don't like them, find them attractive or, or not. Um, and little quirks and mannerisms that they pick up on. Um, and I think it can be quite difficult to write dialogue where the characters sound different to each other, like they sound yeah. like their own person. And because the worst thing you can do is have lots of characters all sound exactly the same. Ideally, when you're writing, if you took out all the John said, Sue said, Mary said, whatever, it would be, ideally you wanna be able to still know who's saying that without the, the, the kind of dialogue tags. Yeah. So if you can do that in some way, um, and, and maybe, I tend not to describe my characters because I don't really see their face. When I'm writing, I don't really see their faces. They're kind of like, they have like blank faces usually. <laughs> like a mannequin. <laughs> um, including the, even the main character, because usually I'm looking at through their eyes rather than looking at their face. Um, if you can put some something in that, like I don't know I can't come up with really good examples at the moment but some little quirk or mannerism or, or way of speaking that they have that yeah. people will remember um then yeah that can be that can be a good thing or, or make them really funny or really loathsome those are yeah I like that good, that's good. good ways that's good so give them something quirky something something unique and like quintessentially them um perfectly through you know like dialogue as opposed to just random description about them um, yeah don't just describe i mean you can have the character the, the protagonist kind of describing their impressions of them but if you can do that through an interaction and through action that's much better than just a, just a flat description yeah um that's yeah and you don't need to get too hung up on who needs to know what shape their nose was and what <laughs> color their eyes were and and uh, exactly what they're wearing, unless that's really pertinent to the story. Yeah. I don't think you really need all of that detail in there. Let the reader use their imagination and fill in the, fill in the, the gaps.